M0FXB, welcome to my channel and we're looking at setting up DPRS TX on our ICOM 5100 and you can see now that it's appearing on APRS FI here uh, it's got my ICOM 7100 and uh, the info there under M0FXB-5 so it can be done uh, using DPRS, I'll put a link here for information on DPRS but it, basically what do we want? We want to see ourselves on APRS FI. That's what we want to see as we travel. So uh, we're on the dashboard. I've just got myself on Reflector 12. I'll show you my configuration page. There's not much you change on here, just the normal hotspot settings, uh, you know, frequency, modem, all that. Everything's the same. All I've done on here to make it, which did make a difference as far as I can see, is see it says here under general configuration i've got aprs host enable and i've selected euro.aprs that's all i've done on my on my uh, you know hotspot settings so that's good and then we'll just go back and we'll show that the dashboard here and that we're connected to 12c i've done that because i don't want to interfere with a busy uh reflector so on the radio you do need to enable you need to you need to have a gps connection now you might have an external way of doing this. You can actually tether it to your phone with the OPC2350 cable and the ST4002A app. I've just put it into manual. It's a lot simpler. So you just go set, then go down to GPS, like so, and we'll start at the top. See, notice GPX TX mode, that's very important. We'll start at the top, GPS set, um, we'll, and it's click set again and look we're in manual so make sure you've got that unless you've got external uh, I haven't changed anything else here manual position GPS indicator yeah on you want that one on oh yeah set your manual position of course like so hold it hold your finger so let's just go back manual you're down to manual position hold your finger you tap it, then hold your finger, and you can now edit and set your position, and then go down and click right. So that's super important. GPS indicator on, position format, then you've got altitude, you know, you can set that, speed units, and you can set that. Information, position, but the most important one I found was the GPS TX mode. When you tap this, you need to select the bottom one, which is GPS-A DVA, which is to me is is on your more newer icon radar. You would just select DPRS, but on here, this is what it's called on the icon 5100. So GPS-A DVA. Okay. Once you've done that, then get yourself into DR mode. So just hold down DR. Make sure you're connected to your hotspot. That we're just showing you on the screen here. So at the bottom is my hotspot. At the top, you want CQ, CQ. Where is it? Go to your call sign. Let's have a look. And then you want to actually, you want it's on CQ, CQ. That's actually interesting. I'll try it on use repeater because it was on CQ, CQ when it actually worked. So I'll try both um, and let you know which one. I'll just try it now actually. Let's just give it do a quick test. Uh, but when I had it working, the one you see on the screen now was actually on CQ, CQ, CQ. So um, let's just key again. And now uh, we'll see what happens. Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, M0 FXB. Now you do have to set your SSID. I'll show you that as well. Let's just go M0 FXB-5. M0 FXB-5. And search and let's look at the time and see if this is the most recent one 854 yeah so it doesn't it, it's worked on that as well so that's worked fine now yeah the SSID settings let's just go back to menu sorry set back to GPS when you set GPS ADV tap it tap it again and then these are the settings you want. Now I didn't change the top one, that was there by default. The API 710, D star star. So but you do need something like that for it to show up. Uh, data extension, core speed. I left that on. Timestamp, I've just got it on HMS. Altitude is on. 
symbol, you can choose symbol at the top there. So lots to choose from, but I've just left it as my house. SSID, look, I put dash five, and I put a comment there, just so I can find myself, if I know it's me, so 7100, but you could put a much longer comment than that. And to, to edit these type of things, you just hold the screen like that, and you can edit. So that's it, so that's complete setup of how to get your ICOM 7100 actually showing up on APRS FI using um, the DPRS system. It's well worth it. I think it, it works well. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. I'll catch you on air. All the best.